Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the pixellab.net. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about displacement. So let's say that I have this license plate and I want to displace these uh, numbers and letters. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do displacement. One is actually in the material. You can go to displacement down here, check that on, and you can load a texture. Um, but that's something that you have to make in Photoshop. You'll have to make your text. You have to make parts of it black, parts of it white, so that it knows um, kind of what places to displace. Um, so that's one way that you can do it. Another way is all in Cinema 4D, and that is actually a deformer. We'll go ahead and add the displacer, and all these deformers work the same way. You have to dump them into an object in order to displace that object or to do all these different effects to it. So we'll take this displacer and we'll put it into this cube. All right, so I've got this cube here, and now it has the displacer. Nothing happens, so there's a few things that we need to adjust and uh, that's in the displacer. So in the shader tab, we actually have to add something in order to affect the image. So if we just add a regular uh, color shader, it's gonna turn it white, and you can see it kinda jumped a little bit. A little bit of displacement going on based on the white color. So we need to tell it what parts of the image we want it to displace, right? And that's actually in the fall off tab under shape. So we have an option under here for uh, source, which is really, really nice. If you uh, click on source, you get a new tab that opens up called source link. And then you can link an object into, uh, into the fall off so it knows what to displace. And that's this text. So we'll drag that text spline right into here. And there you go. You see that it's starting to displace a little bit, right? Pretty cool stuff. So if we go to the displacer, we'll go to the object. You can change the height of this displacement. And uh, usually you don't overdo it. Maybe put around 20, right? If we go to the fall off, we can tweak a bunch of things in here. One of the big ones is sample detail. You can see how it's all janky right here. Uh, if we increase these, you can see that we're adding a little bit more information. Um, one of the big problems with the displacer is it needs tons of geometry in order to be smooth and displace it without being kind of jagged. Uh, so if you go into your cube, we'll probably have to bump this up to something ridiculous like 150. And then you can see we're starting to get a little bit smoother, right? If we go ahead and do a quick render, you can see it's still a little bit janky, but getting a little bit closer. Um, the thing about the displacer is it is a little bit hard to make your, uh, your renders completely smooth. You have to do a little bit of work, and usually with kind of a large displacement, it doesn't look as good. You've got to make these a little bit more subtle. So we'll go ahead and go into our text, into our spline. Actually, let's bump down our resolution just a little bit while we're working in here. So if we take our spline, you can see if we uh, move that text spline, you can see that, uh, there we go, drop it down a little bit so we're getting that kind of raised metal look, right? Like it's kind of pounded out from behind. There we go, do something like that. Now if we go back to our segments and bump them up, now we're getting that resolution back in there, and if we do a render, there you go, looking really good. So uh, definitely play around with this deformer. A lot of fun, kind of a quick way to displace um, different objects. So that's it for me. Thanks for uh, checking out the tutorial. I really hope you learned something. We'll talk again soon. Bye, everybody.